What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Real Talk. And yes, it's Tuesday, but uh, because of the Memorial Day weekend, uh, we had to rearrange the schedule. Uh, but I hope you had a great Memorial Day uh, with your family and friends and had a chance to uh, check out some movies. I know I did. And um, yeah, guys, uh, like I said, we had to rearrange the schedule. Uh, so we're bringing you guys the latest movie news, the movie trailers today. Uh, so yeah, but we did upload a video um, uh, yesterday, and that's uh, my Mount Rushmore of film directors. Uh, you know, I run down um, the people who I think belong in that, you know, basically the top directors uh, who I think belong on the Mount Rushmore. I had a little bit of a different take on it. I had a few categories and stuff like that, so go check that out if you haven't. Uh, but alright guys, starting off with the latest trailers. Uh, the newest trailer we had uh, actually dropped, I believe, yesterday or late uh, Sunday. Uh, but it's for Logan Lucky, uh, Steven Soderbergh's uh, latest film. Uh, starring Channy Tatum and uh, Adam Driver, Daniel Craig, and a lot of other faces. Uh, so check it out. You were just fired. I was let go for liability reasons involving insurance. The one armed bartender. <laughs> you need to show a little respect. Charlotte Motor Speedway. I know how they move the money. The only guy who knows anything about blowing up real bank vaults is Joe Bang. I am incarcerated. Yeah, we got a plan to get you out. All right, guys, so as you can tell by the trailer, I mean, it looks a lot of fun. It looks like uh, everybody had a great time filming this movie. At least I get that vibe. <laughs> Um, but yeah, as far as the trailer, I love the trailer. It just got me so excited to see this movie. Uh, Steven Soderbergh directed, uh, you know, Ocean's uh, 13 and 11, all those movies, uh, you know, based on heists and stuff like that. And this one seems to be no different. Uh, with a little bit of smaller cast, obviously those movies had a huge cast. This one has a great cast as well. But um, yeah, I mean, they look, they all look great, especially Daniel Craig. He looks so fantastic in this movie. So I'm so excited to see. Uh, these guys interact, you know, Adam Driver and Channing Tatum. They look like they're going to have a great chemistry as uh, the brothers. Uh, so I'm excited for that. And uh, yeah, this movie was on my honorable mentions of my um, most anticipated movies of this year. Uh, so again, uh, if you guys have not seen that video, uh, I'll post a link in the description down below. So check it out. And um, yeah, guys, overall, I really like the trailer. I can't wait for it. Uh, so let's move on to the Spider-Man Homecoming uh, trailers. There's actually two. Hey, Peter. You coming tonight? I can't tonight. I got the Stark internship. What's up, guys? Mr. Stark, here's my report for tonight. I stopped the uh, Grand Theft Bicycle. Hey, could you do me a favor? Hold on to that. There's this Captain America. There's Iron Man. Whoa, look at that new guy. Who's that? That's my cue. I gotta go. I did a fight with Captain America, and I stole his shield, and I threw it at him. At him. What the hell? He's big now. I gotta go. It was the most amazing thing that's ever happened. So Mr. Stark was like, hey, Andrews. And I just sort of flipped in. Hey, just a second. Coming. Hey. We have thin walls here. And we had a poster, uh, which I'm going to tell you right now, guys. I honestly did not like. Um, it just seemed too Marvel-esque, I guess. Uh, sometimes they have good posters, but it's just the same thing. All the characters, you know, you know kind of there and... I don't know. I feel like with Spider-Man, they could have done something uh, different and kind of unique. Um, but I mean, for the trailers, um, I like the international one a little bit more because it kind of shows you like, uh, you know, how he's kind of filming the events of uh, Civil War. That was really cool. And uh, I think it shows you a little bit more of the Vulture and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, overall, I like the trailers. But again, I feel like there's a lot of stuff um, that they put in there that they probably shouldn't have. Uh, the last couple of trailers, they kind of showed too much, and uh, this one was a little, a bit, little bit of the same. It, it showed like stuff that we've seen before, but uh, like one thing that I would have liked to see on, in the movie was like the whole web shooter combination things. Like you had like 500 and something different web combinations. It's like that would have been so cool to see in the movie, but now we already know that it's gonna happen. And like I don't know. Hopefully, there's still a lot of fun surprises in the movie. Obviously, it's Marvel, so I'm pretty sure there will be. Uh, but I hope they just, from now on, I think it's coming out in like two months. Uh, not next month. Yeah, then like two months or so. Or in a month. 
Uh, but yeah, hopefully within that time, hopefully these were, the, I don't know if these were the last trailers or not. It didn't seem like it said the last, the final trailer. Um, but hopefully the last trailer won't show us too much. And, uh, but I'm still excited for the movie. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I mean, overall the trailers were okay. Uh, the pulsar I'm not a big fan of. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the last trailer we have to talk about today. Alright guys, so moving on to the last trailer we have for you guys. It's uh, for Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Uh, check that one out. Agents Valerian and Laureline, you have less than 10 hours to find the threat and eliminate it. How to get it to work. Alright guys, so um, like I said, this movie, uh, the first trailer didn't really excite me or anything. I was just like, oh, it's one of these other movies. Like kind of like, reminded me of like Cloud Atlas or like uh, Jupiter Ascending, uh, which was another Wachowski uh, movie. Uh, and yeah, I was just feeling it. But the second trailer hit and it really got me excited for some reason. Maybe it's all the world and the special effects and stuff like that. And kind of like the stories that, um, the story that they seem like they're going to go uh, through. Uh, so I'm really excited with that. I'm a huge Dane DeHaan fan. He's amazing in everything so far. Uh, minus Green Hobgoblin, whatever he was. <laughs> uh, he was good, but I guess over like at the end he got went over to the over the top. And uh, Enchantress, whatever her name is, uh, Meg Ryan. Now nah, she, she looks kind of like Meg Ryan, but whatever. <laughs> um, what's her name? Uh, Kara Delevingne or whatever. Um, so far, I haven't seen Paper Towns, and I know that they, pe people said that she's good in it, but other than that, I've seen her in Suicide Squad, I think in another movie or something, so I'm kind of like, eh, kind of not a big fan of her, so, but she looks good in this movie, uh, playing off Dane DeHaan and stuff like that, uh, and this trailer was no different, I mean, it just got, um, had me a little bit more excited for the film, I can't believe it's almost here, uh, just like Spider-Man. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited for the trailer guys. Let me know what you guys thought about the trailer or if you you were like me That you know, you didn't know if you were gonna see this movie or at first you didn't like it And then you know the trailers picked up for you and you guys uh, now want to see it Or if you just always wanted to see it or if you're still not interested, let me know in the comments down below All right, yeah, so starting with the movie news uh, The first piece of news that we have is that the Resident Evil franchise is actually gonna get a reboot uh, And they announced that it's gonna start off with six films and uh, James Wan is set to produce the first film. Uh, so what do I think about this? Honestly, I don't care. I know that there's fans of this movie and stuff like that. But I only honestly liked the first movie. Uh, and then I just feel like it was just... I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I think I saw like the first three. And I liked the first one. But other than after that, I was like, eh, you know, I'm not going to go with this franchise. But the fact that they did get... I don't know how much they... Uh, how many of them they made. Like four or five. Maybe even six. I doubt it though. I think it was five. Uh, but the fact that they got that far, that means they were making some kind of money and they had some fan base. So, uh, but the fact that it's coming so soon, I mean, the last one just came out this January and it was supposed to be the last one. Uh, now they're thinking about rebooting it and stuff like that and making six more and stuff. So, I mean, I feel like if it gets back to the horror that the video game presented to everybody and made everybody be a big fan of the video game, and um, maybe it can work out. Just making making it a horror franchise instead of like an action franchise, like a superhero kind of uh, thing with uh, uh, Mila Jovovich's character. Um, but yeah, man. Um, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited? Do you guys like the franchise that just ended or anything like that? Or if you guys are like me, don't really care. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below. Uh, so moving on with the next story is that. Um, that we're actually getting a Top Gun 2. <laughs> uh, Mr. Tom Cruise was being interviewed for his latest movie, uh, The Mummy. And uh, he they asked him, like, hey, so what's going on with the Top Gun uh, sequel? You know, or, you know, what's going on with Top Gun? And he revealed that they're, they're actually planning to shoot by the end of this year or early next year. So it's happening. And then I believe Mr. Uh, Joseph uh, Krasinski is going to be directing. Uh, or oh, he's in talks to direct. Uh, he directed, you know, Oblivion, which was uh, uh, starring Tom Cruise, and uh, Tron Legacy, uh, Legacy, <laughs> uh, which I really like. Tron uh, Legacy and Oblivion was kind of uh, visually uh, visually stunning for sure, but um, 
other than that, I wasn't really a big fan of it. I mean, Tom Cruise was good in it. Obviously, he's an action star, so... So, yeah, guys, let me know if you guys are excited for that. I mean, that just came out of nowhere. It's been so long since the first one, but it'll probably be good to see Maverick again. Uh, visually, though, they can make, especially since Joseph uh, Krasinski uh, makes visually stunning movies, he can probably make some great uh, jet scenes, you know, like, you know, some action scenes. So, the actually thing about that now, <laughs> I'm kind of excited. So hopefully, he does uh, decide to direct the movie. Uh, so, let's go on with our next story. And that is that the new Mutants movie. Uh, it's actually going to be a full-fledged horror movie. Um, that's what they said that the vibe is going to be like for this film. So it's it going to be completely different from any other superhero movie. Um, and I believe uh, Rocio Dawson is in talks to play this character called uh, Dr. Cecilia Reyes. And her power basically is that she can have like some um, bio field around her or something like that. Kind of like a shield or something around her or something. So, uh, but yeah, adding Rocio Dawson to that cast, it's pretty cool. There we have uh, Anna Taylor-Joy and Macy Williams uh, from Game of Thrones and Split. Um, so yeah, um, what do I think? This could be really interesting. If they did do decide to have like a full-fledged horror take on this, um, that would be really interesting because um, I think being, um, I don't know. I don't know, but I mean, I, I would feel like and I would think that being a mutant will be scary in the sense of like freaking people out and freaking yourself out going through these changes and stuff like that. And uh, it can be kind of like really scary and stuff like that. So if they capture that and make it its own different film, I think that would be cool. A, a new, unique take to um, bring to the X-Men franchise and to superhero movies overall. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So continue on with the superhero movie news and X-Men kind of uh, is that um, Jack Cassie is being cast as the main villain in Deadpool 2. And uh, his character uh, is probably going to be, uh, sources are saying that uh, his character is going to be Black Tom. Uh, so, I mean, I don't, not really familiar with that character, but um, seems like he can like control like some power with like plants or something like that. Um, like the energy of them or something. Uh, so that would be pretty cool to see. I mean, uh, I don't really know what this guy has been in, uh, but he looks like a villain. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean that along with, you know, Josh Brolin as Cable, uh, and, and, you know, Deadpool coming back. I mean, I'm excited. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen this guy in a lot, so let's just, uh, hope that he can bring us a great villain. Uh, and I think that's a good thing though, that he's not really well known because he's not going to be like, Oh, that's, that's that guy from this movie. You know, like we can just go into this movie saying, okay, this guy is the villain of this movie and he has an opportunity to kind of start and branch out and kind of get exposure with this role uh so yeah i'm excited for the uh, deadpool 2 overall i believe it's getting released june 1st or july 1st or something of next year uh so yeah things are picking up really quickly hopefully we get a trailer uh maybe comic con or um i'll not be too soon obviously um so maybe by the end of the year all right guys so moving on with the movie news we have some john wick chapter 3 news and uh, that's that it might start filming this year, uh, late next year. Uh, I think Chad uh, Stilinowski, well, I think he was like one of the directors. Uh, he got interviewed and said uh, that it might be starting uh, to shoot this year. And uh, that it just, it, it kind of, uh, he said that it, it, it's ending in a way that you kind of could see from, from John Wick 1 and 2. It's the only logical next step for the character. That's what he said. And I'm kind of thinking what that is. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, I really liked the first one. The first one caught me by surprise, uh, and I really enjoyed it. The second one, uh, I liked it a little bit less, but I, I love that they expanded the universe of John Wick and it, you know, just gave him uh, like another mission and stuff like that. And the ending was what is really exciting me for John Wick 3. So, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully they start shooting right away. And also, it, um, he said that he might not be returning. Uh, to the franchise uh, and uh, there was two directors for the first one uh, I'm not sure if they were back for the they were both back for the second one uh, so maybe it's just gonna be one of them directing the third one but uh, I mean as long as they make it great and great action uh, like the first two then I'll be happy and uh, yeah give me John Wick 3 as soon as possible <laughs> all right guys so moving on with the last piece of uh, movie news is that uh, the rap is reporting that Michael Shannon uh, next movie is uh, gonna be on Netflix Netflix picked it up and this movie it's a movie called Pottersville and it's basically about uh, Michael Shannon's character uh, getting drunk one night and kind of putting on the gorilla suit and going onto the woods 
and then people sight like see him and they think it's a Bigfoot. Uh, so basically, off that, the the town kind of gets uh, publicity and kind of you know gets you know alive again and stuff like that. And it has a great cast too. Uh, Christina Hendricks is going to be in there. Uh, Ian McShane and uh, Tom Lennon is going to be on it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I love Michael Shannon. Michael, Michael Shannon is underrated in my opinion. Uh, he was great as General Zod. He was great in Midnight Special. He's just been great in everything he's been in, uh, especially in last year's Nocturnal Animals. I feel like he should have won for Best Supporting Actor. But um, this sounds so cool. It's just based on the plot alone. <laughs> he just gets drunk, puts on the gorilla suit. They, they think he's Bigfoot and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, Netflix, man, again, pick, picking up something original, something great, hopefully. I'm not sure if this is based on the book or anything like that. But uh, it's still like an original concept, not superhero movie or an action mo hero movie and stuff like that. Not trying to knock them, but it's just all that we've been getting lately. Uh, but that's what sells tickets. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys, that was pretty much it. Um, just want to touch upon, again, that that seems pretty awesome. I can't wait for that. But uh, like I said, guys, that was pretty much it for today, guys. A quick episode. Uh, not a lot of news today. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll be back later on this week for a review for a movie that I might have one of the characters on my shirt hinted as Wonder Woman. So stay tuned for my review. I'm going to try to have that as soon as possible. Uh, and yeah, guys, have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, subscribe to see more stuff like this. And you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Real Talk. Talk with two Ks. And I'll see you guys at the movies. Peace.